The Galaxy S25, set for release early next year, is expected to feature several upgrades, notably the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 chip, which promises significantly faster performance. However, this enhancement could come with some drawbacks. According to Tipster Digital Chat Station, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, model number at SEM 8750, will drive up smartphone prices considerably due to its higher costs compared to its predecessors, including the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Since the chipset and display are already the prices components of a smartphone, a substantial increase in the chipset's cost could challenge smartphone brands' ability to absorb these expenses. The anticipated price hike for the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 is so substantial that reducing the costs of other components may not suffice to offset the increased expense. OEMs are left with three main options. 1. Pass the price hike onto consumers through higher smartphone prices. 2. Opt for a cheaper chipset, such as the Snapdragon 8's Gen 3 or last year's chip. 3. Cut manufacturing costs by using cheaper components for the display, camera, or battery. This price increase is likely due to Qualcomm's new custom CPU core, Orion, which can match the performance of Apple's a and series chips found in iPhones, iPads, and Macs, offering a significant performance boost over previous Snapdragon chips. Additionally, this chipset will be manufactured using TSMC's second-generation 3M process node and 3E, the same process used for Apple's M4 and upcoming A18 Pro chipsets. This isn't the first time a new Qualcomm chip has led to higher smartphone prices. In 2020, the Snapdragon 865 caused Xiaomi to raise the price of the i10 by $140 compared to the i9. However, Samsung might mitigate the impact of the chip's price increase on the Galaxy S25 thanks to its extensive supply chain. The company could choose to absorb the additional cost, potentially keeping the Galaxy S25's price on par with the Galaxy S24. If Samsung opts to do this, we might not see significant improvements in other specifications, such as the camera or display. A new user, Zacta Designer, shows some renders based on his concept design of the Galaxy S25 Ultra. It looks similar to the Galaxy S24 Ultra. In his renders, it shows the small screen size than the Galaxy S24 Ultra. The S25 Ultra comes with titanium. The Galaxy S24 Ultra is an impressive phone with several notable features, one of the biggest being its new titanium frame. Samsung shows grade 2 titanium because it bonds better. There's a rumor that the Galaxy S25 Ultra might also use the titanium, even though its release is still far off. This isn't the first time we've heard this about Samsung's next top phone. In March, there was a rumor that Samsung would use the same grade 2 titanium for the Galaxy S25 Ultra because it bonds better. Most people wouldn't mind, since the Galaxy S24 Ultra is already very sturdy, making it an obvious choice to use the same metal. Now, the rumor has resurfaced from a different source. Honestly, there's nothing wrong with Samsung sticking to the same grade of titanium. However, the source also mentions the possibility of using grade 3 titanium, although less common than grade 2. Grade 3 Titanium is superior to both Grade 1 and Grade 2. It offers excellent weldability and very high corrosion resistance, but it's harder to mold and provides more strength. I'm curious to see what Samsung will bring to the table with the Galaxy S25 Ultra. For comparison, the iPhone 15 Pro series uses Grade 5 Titanium, which includes traces of aluminum and vanadium, while Grade 2 Titanium is much purer. It's still too early to confirm which grade of titanium Samsung will use for the Galaxy S25 Ultra. The phone isn't expected to be released until January next year, so there's still plenty of time to find out. Honestly, I don't think it's a big deal. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, with its grade 2 titanium, is already one of the best-built phones on the market. Samsung has a strong reputation for making robust phones, so the choice of titanium grade shouldn't be a major concern. We're eagerly looking forward to the Galaxy S25 Ultra next year and I can't wait to see what Samsung has in store for us. Samsung's upcoming flagship phone, the Galaxy S25 Ultra, is set to debut early next year. We've gathered all the rumors surrounding it to help you decide whether to wait for its release or stick with the latest model in the Galaxy lineup. The release date for the Galaxy S25 Ultra hasn't been officially confirmed yet, but we're expecting it in early 2025. This aligns with Samsung's usual schedule for launching new Galaxy S series phones, making it a near certainty. The S25 Ultra will be released alongside the S25 and S25 Plus. We hate to say it, but the Galaxy S25 Ultra will probably be a bit more expensive than the S24 Ultra. This is especially disappointing since the Ultra model is already the highest end and most expensive option in the lineup. If the rumors about increased RAM are true, you might need to pay more for the Galaxy S25 Ultra. 
Here's a comparison of the potential prices for the S25 Ultra and S24 Ultra. S25 Ultra, 256 gigs, $1,299.99, same. S25 Ultra, 512 gigs, $1,469.99, $50 more. S25 Ultra, 1 TB, $1,709.99, $50 more. Keep in mind, these figures aren't set in stone. Samsung raised the price of its top-tier phone between the S23 and S24 series, so they could either do it again with the S25 or take a pause on price hikes this year. We're still very early in the information cycle, so be sure to check back later as we update this page with more precise pricing details. Pre-orders for the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra will begin following its announcement at the Samsung Unpacked event in early 2025. The pre-order period is expected to last around two weeks before the phone becomes available for purchase. We'll provide the pre-order link as soon as it's available. When a new phone rolls out, one of the main updates is its operating system. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is expected to launch with Android 15 and One UI 7. Alongside the anticipated changes in Android 15, the S25 Ultra will likely feature version 2 of Google's mobile-optimized language model, Gemini Nano. The first version of this model is present on the S24 phones, so Gemini Nano 2 is expected to power the next generation of Galaxy artificial intelligence features. Without a doubt, Samsung will further enhance the artificial intelligence capabilities on the Galaxy S25 Ultra. Previously, features like Circle to Search, Photo Assist, and Live Translate were added to Samsung's phones, and we expect even more improvements next year. While the specifics are still under wraps, you can anticipate a strong focus on advancements in photography and text generation. A Samsung fan shared some disappointing news about the S25 Ultra on X. It appears that the phone will retain the same battery size and charging speeds as previous Ultra models. Sawyer has also provided a look at the S25 Ultra's storage specs. According to their sources, the base model's storage and memory will remain unchanged, but the higher tier models are expected to see a significant increase in RAM. Here's an overview comparing the S25 Ultra to the S24 Ultra. 256 gigs slash 12 gigs RAM same, 512 gigs slash 16 gigs RAM, 4 gigs more RAM. 1 TB slash 16 gigs RAM, 4 gigs more RAM. While this isn't confirmed yet, it makes sense given the increasing demand for memory, particularly to support advanced artificial intelligence features. Like the other two phones in this series, the S25 Ultra will likely run on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4. The S24 Ultra uses Gen 3, or the Exynos 2500 processor, depending on the region. There are also rumors that the S25 Ultra will have a slightly larger screen, increasing from 6.8 inches to 6.9 inches. However, details about other screen specifics remain unknown, so it's possible that Samsung will stick with the same 120Hz AMOLED LED display. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below. Peace out.